welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to give you some quick tips on fingering or which fingers you should use mostly when playing singular melodies. Not every piece of music will have the finger numbers written in or if you don't read music um, I'm going to give you some tips and good habits to try and get into I'm going to show you what not to do and then what you should be doing as well. So the first rule of thumb is to not show your palm when playing. So you should never be doing this sort of thing where you might see this part of your hand. So none of that, none of this. <laughs> That's quite strange, what I call quite strange fingers in the mark of someone who's self-taught because they haven't really been playing many scales, which goes on to my next Point. So using scales as a guide, when we play scales we use certain fingers to navigate around the piano as quickly and as fluently as possible. Not all scales have the same finger patterns but basically the rule of thumb is you go under on your four with your thumb on this wider area on the three back keys of the piano. You would go under on your three when there's a the shorter two black keys. So that's a wider section, smaller section. This is how we break the piano up and this is kind of what dictates which fingers we use um, in scales generally. So you'll always ascend going under with your thumb and you'll always, coming down, you'll always go over with a finger over your thumb. So to ascend you go over your thumb not, not this, <laughs> over with your thumb. So, so we can turn to scales as a guide, it's a very good guide if you know what key a piece of music is in and then that's why I tell us what key and what scale are in at the start of nearly every tutorial I do because it's so important. It will help you with which fingers to use, with which notes are involved in the piece of music, um, so obviously scales um, are probably the number one thing that will help with which fingers to use and so you become more instinctive and you will automatically do certain fingers when playing within certain key signatures. So again we go under with the thumb on any finger, you can go under the thumb on that finger, you can go under with your four, not really under with your five, avoid going under with your five, it's just a bit more awkward. So the other point is tucking in and expanding. This is expanding, so to play things like an octave and then tucking in to come upwards like that. So using this motion, I'm just playing random keys. So you can practice tucking in. I'll try it in my left hand. Sometimes the tucking is really close, so you're going there. Like really tucking in, coming back down, expanding. Really, the thing which fingers we decide to use is dictated by articulation. So if we look at this piece of music here, it doesn't have any finger numbers in, but it does have big slurs. So we've got to play everything under those big slurs with big phrase marks as smoothly as possible to show that that's one musical sentence. So if we just look at the right hand, so this is in the key of F major, so we've got to consider this B flat when using the fingers as well. So these are the fingers that I would use. So the first one is a chord, it's like a chord broken up. I have done a whole separate video on which fingers you would use for chords, so go and link that down below. So we're just talking about melody and singular notes mostly today. So those fingers would make sense because they're the fingers I would use to play that chord. Those fingers sit naturally over those notes. So now we're into this section A, it starts on an upbeat. So if I just scan, I think it would make sense to start with my thumb on the F. So I would go... So we've not had to do any finger movements yet. Next line. Here I'm going to put my thumb on the G because we've got to go lower. So I want to go over to the F with my three. So I can go three, one, five, three, two. 
and that's all played smoothly. So you have to make sure, sometimes do quite convoluted fingers, to make sure you're playing it as legato as possible. If I go like this, you could go, that's an option as well. You've got to keep the, the flow of the legato going. But again, going over your thumb and going under your thumb are the rules that you should try and stick to as well as occasionally tucking in and expanding. And then the next phrase, so we've got, I can lift my finger off there, so new note, new phrase. Expand here. And then if I look a little bit further, I can see I need to get to this B flat. So I need really to expand my second finger to the F. So I can get up to the B flat. And play it all, keep it all nice and smooth. So I actually think that this one shows a good example of tucking in, going over, going under um, and expanding. So again, the left hand is just playing chords. So I'm not going to look at the fingers of the chords again. Check out the video link below. And then I would probably swap my thumb here because we're going to start that again. It's the start of the new phrase. So those are my quick tips on which fingers to use and fingering, particularly if there's no fingers in a piece of music, which there often aren't. The fingers that are in a piece of music aren't always gospel, they're usually fine, but sometimes there's a better way to do things that might be more comfortable or suitable to you. As long as you're articulating it correctly and playing it in such a way that will enable you to play passages like quickly if need be, um, smoothly, uh, staccato, or a mixture of them both, and then that is the main goal. Regardless of the articulation, that you try and stick to the same fingers every single time you're learning or trying to memorize a piece of music, it will just help you learn it a lot quicker if you do the same movement every single time you play it. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.